today is Juan Aparicio, Vice President of Product at Ready Robotics. I saw Forge OS 5 launched May 11th, and that building Forge OS into robotics and automation is a focus of Ready Robotics. What is the product? How does it work? So we think that Forge 5 is the platform that transform automation, the platform for robotics and automation. It's a single intuitive platform for controlling robots and peripherals from all the top brands. It's built on years of success in real product environments. So all these features, all this feedback is already built in. But what is more important is also that we have built this new platform from the ground up to facilitate third-party development, the new palletizing applications, the new assembly applications, coating, the sanding, all these really applications and services that make an impact in manufacturing and really don't bother about the low level stuff, how do you connect one peripheral to a robot? What if doing troubleshooting, maintenance, transmitting information, that's something that we take care of as a platform. One of the things that frustrate me the most is when I go to a factory, when I ask, okay, can I see the program of that robot or that PLC? No, 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 we don't touch it, right? It was, <laughs> it was already commissioned and we pray that it never breaks. We wanna transition to a world where operators and engineers are empowered to really optimize the code and the process constantly, right? Based on what they know best because they are the ones operating those machines and making those products. What, in your opinion, are the keys to success in deploying robotic automation within the factory setting? That is a common theme for SMEs and big players. And that is invest on your workforce, right? Upskill and reskill and empower them, like right? make them the owner of their destiny, right? And capable of bringing then ingenuity that is cannot be underestimated into a tool, right? It shouldn't be intimidated. It's a robot is a tool at the end of the day. And there are tons of ways to, uh, to automate a task or to solve a problem. Uh, I will also advise to not try to look for perfection, that delay perfection. It's better to start now. Start with from the easy task to be automated, right? Reach out to the partners that can help you along the way. Now, there is also a difference between SMEs and big, right? Uh, particularly on the capabilities to deploy across sites. If you only have one shop, I will advise to be future-proof, not lock yourself into a technology that can be obsoleted, but get into a wave where your solutions are modular, where you can easily replace hardware for best in class and what you really need and be the owner of your destiny again. Like don't outsource absolutely everything because then you are losing your power or your differentiator. For big companies, right? That you can really leverage sites and learn from one another across the world a lot of times, right? It's very important to reduce the amount of programming interfaces. If you need to program a camera in one interface, call another set of the engineers and technicians for a PLC, and other ones that are programming the robot becomes too complicated. We need to consolidate all these interfaces in a modular approach. And I would advise also to create, start thinking about creating these markets of turnkey solutions that can adapt to local needs. So for example, if you have a palletizing application and that will have a different flavor if you are deploying it in Mexico versus Ohio, right? Because maybe the cost rate, the hourly rate is lower in Mexico, so you can afford also have more people around, but the fundamentals could be the same, right? You could be develop this turnkey solution centrally, and then in your brands adapt to your local needs. Also in fast deployments like electronics, where also assembly is super important, you can really not start from scratch every six months, right? The, the, the cycles are getting faster, the complexity of the products is increasing. So find ways to modularize your approach, right? And if possible, Go along your supply chain and help them to automate. You are the big guy and you have a lot of suppliers that you rely on. And a lot of these suppliers are uh, not automated. I and mean, people think about, for example, close to me in California, the Fremont factory from Tesla, right? All flashy with robots, but that's just the final assembly, right? All these components, the fasteners and the small things that go there, they come from suppliers that are not necessarily automated. But there is a lot of value to go along your supply chain 
and really connect that to your operations. So you can use the best technology that you need at that moment and get the quality and the speed and the reliability that is brought by robotics and automation. 